Touring America, the healthcare worker brightening his city with beautiful surprises for perfect strangers. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening. Heralded is one of our most... Dining outside at a restaurant with friends from multiple households. And though the agency says the vaccinated should still wear a mask at large outdoor gatherings, like a baseball game or a concert, the risk is low. Here, if you're vaccinated, you can do more things, more safely, both outdoors as well as indoors. While there were fewer changes for the unvaccinated, the CDC says all Americans still need to wear them. But now the CDC says less than 10 percent of documented COVID cases occurred outdoors. One, two, three. With 37 percent of all adults fully vaccinated, the CDC hopes the new guidelines and recommendation to be made. So there's both a change in the science and a, and a change in where we are with this pandemic and where we are in getting the country vaccinated. Um, we know from science that uh, less than 10 percent of cases of COVID-19 have been occurring outdoors. There is transmission. People are gathering uh, near one another. They're, they're coming less than six feet apart. And we know that this virus um, can trick us. So we want to be very careful for people who are unvaccinated. You're also encouraging uh, folks, even vaccinated, more guidance. It feels like a lot of the excitement around today's announcement has to do with the mask, but I, but I feel like you were also making a point about the shots, the vaccines themselves. Have they proven in real world experience to be more effective than, than you imagined? They're working See, and the battle over body cam video heads to court. Let's get more now from Kerry Sanders. Tonight, the town council in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, releasing this surveillance video as the Pasquatank SWAT team converged on Andrew... Br American families that President Biden will call for in tomorrow night's speech to Congress. Peter Alexander is at the White House for us. Peter, what's in the plan? Yeah, Lester, good evening. The White House is dubbing its latest proposal the American Families Plan with a nearly $2 trillion price. Here's Andrea Mitchell. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> President Biden promised to reach out to allies and punish adversaries. Good afternoon. What's the record show afternoon. at the 100-day mark? As protesters chat, and he's warning Putin against threatening Ukraine. Still, he's invited Putin to a summit in a third country, possibly this summer. He's testing the Biden administration, and then he gets rewarded by having a summit. And so that, I think, uh, encourages and vaccines for staff and campers. Since many kids can't get a shot yet, masks are recommended, even outdoors. We're seeing obesity cases rising, we're seeing mental health issues rising, and we are very hopeful that camp can really be the antidote. They were spread out. They'll also continue daily temperature checks and symptom questionnaires. And per CDC guidance, all activities, including meals and arts and crafts, will be outside. To stop the spread of an outbreak, campers will be assigned to a pod. So while one pod is here, it is sane. All right, Stephanie, for folks trying to time this, when might prices start going down? Lester, it could be a while. Experts don't compare this to the 2008 housing bubble. It's very different. And with pent-up demand from the pandemic... Okay, Stephanie Rule, thank you. Up next, how one man's gift of art is inspiring America. Finally, I want you to meet a man who's found a way to combine his art and the art of giving. If you're wandering around Boston and small 10 high income countries, over 100 countries have yet to administer their very first dose. India, of course, has become the new ground zero for exploding COVID cases. The U.S. just recently lifted an embargo on the raw materials needed to help make COVID vaccines. These vaccines, as you say, the, the, the recipe for these vaccines to be shared would be helpful. And do you think that would be helpful? No. Why not? Well, there's only so many vaccine factories in the world and people are very serious. And so moving something that had never been done, moving a vaccine from, say, a J&J a &J factory into a factory in India, that it's novel. It's only because of our grants and our expertise that can happen. Regulatory approval that makes magically sa safe vaccines. Oh, really? I present to you this article from the AP in an industrial neighborhood on the outskirts of Bangladesh. 
uh, lies a factory with gleaming new equipment imported from Germany. It's immaculate home. It has been a disaster for COVID vaccine access. Gates's pro-industry stance also should come as no surprise, given that the man is a billionaire uber capitalist who made his own ill-gotten fortune by novel exploitations of patent law and unchecked monopoly power. Every new drug developed over the past decade was funded by U.S. taxpayers. The revolutionary mRNA technology that pharma is so worried about monopolizing now was developed by university researchers and scientists at the NIH and the Department of Defense. Now to another set of monopolists in Silicon Valley. Perhaps these men are good people. Maybe they're not good people. Maybe they're well-intentioned. Maybe they're not. But no one voted for them to be king of the world. They are totally unaccountable to a single soul. And everyone, liberals love Bill Gates, yes. right? I mean, he has, he has intentionally created this incredible halo around him. And I'm not going to say he hasn't done good in the He's world. He's done a lot of good. This isn't to sure. even judge him personally, although I do a little mm. bit of judging him personally here. That it has nothing to do with supply. I mean, that is just such a provably false absurdity. No, it's true. And it's because the Gates people, the Gates Foundation and more, are deeply tied in with the pharma industry. And I've all, you know, what really puzzles me about this is if he's true to his word, then lives of people. So, like, I don't want to say that that's not the case. But it is a broader question. There's a new controversy. I don't know if you guys know about this, where Gates is funding research in order to literally dull the sun, in order to try and affect greenhouse gas emissions. Controversial technology called solar geoengineering. This is all in popular mechanics. You can go look it up. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. not some weird Gates conspiracy. here's the problem. Who decides? That sounds like something we should maybe all have a consensus around the World Health Organization wanted to. Like, you can launch whatever the hell you want up into space. Like, seriously. I mean, there's not really any, a lot of governing bodies around this stuff. And pretty much any government, you know, in the third world or whatever, let you do anything you want for $60 million. So is that something you want to allow? And this is about power, which is exaggerating, but I'm also not because right. it's it actually possible. Like, I mean, it sounds yeah. like the plot of like a bad Austin Powers yeah. movie. Except where, it's like, true. The villain but, like, is like <laughs> going to single handedly dim the sun yeah. for the entire planet. And yet that is what ha is happening. And again, look, I want conspiracies are. This is the factual information reported out and his own comments about what he thinks about patent protection. So yeah, on the one hand, I'm sure he has saved a lot of lives. Yes. On yeah. the other hand, right now, his actions are risking millions, blocking an effort at the World Trade Organization to temporarily lift these patent protections. And I just have to always say that what they will argue is, oh, we need the patent protection so we can do research and development. That's mm -hmm. why we have it. They didn't. RNA was developed <clears throat> by US government public taxpayer funds. Every single new pharmaceutical in the last 10 years was developed by public funding. So don't believe they're propaganda. Do. But if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Yeah. You, are you healthy? Are you a healthy person? Like, look, don't do anything stupid, but you should take care of yourself. You yeah. should, if you're, if you're a healthy person and you're actually about this. Tim and his guys later talking about people showing off that they got vaccinated, calling it virtue signaling. You know, a lot of it kind of played into a common piece of misinformation regarding COVID-19, which is that it's no big deal for young people. And while yes, a, a young person might not be impacted the same way that it's gonna affect an 80 year old, right? We 25 to 44 died of COVID-19. But also I think one of the frustrating things for a lot of people with Rogan on this topic is, is the kind of the selfish, nature of this argument. Right? When you get vaccinated, yes, one of the main things is protecting you, but also to protect others and slow the spread to people that were 21 years old. Right? I mean, he's talking about people of age already approved to get the vaccine in the United States. And so a lot of people had issue with Joe Rogan with uh, the huge platform that he has telling young people not to get vaccinated. And so in addition to everyday people having the reactions that they did, you also saw people really burning bodies in the street while people like Joe Rogan encourage people not to vaccinate. Others saying the people who watch Joe Rogan's show are the people we desperately need to vaccinate in order to speed up the end of the pandemic. Joe isn't just endangering their lives, he's endangering the rest of us too. And arguing, if you're honestly wondering whether or not to shop into a picture of a lab coat, you actually saw the likes of Dr. Anthony Fauci responding to Rogan with him hearing that quote and saying, Well, that's incorrect, Savannah. And the reason why is that you're talking about yourself in a vacuum then. You're worried about yourself, get affect someone else, who might infect someone who really could have a problem with a severe outcome. And ultimately, as far as my opinion on this topic, I think like a lot of people, I think back to that Bill Burr clip when, when Joe Rogan was trying to egg him on about mask wearing. Walked down the street with a mask on? Shit, I'm not gonna sit here with no medical degree, listening to you with no medical degree, with an American flag behind you, smoking a cigar, <laughs> acting like we know what's up. 
<laughs> better than the CDC. But personally, I'm gonna be more inclined to listen to a Dr. Anthony Fauci over his recommendations and what he's saying about COVID-19, child protective services, if he sees kids wearing masks when they're playing. But uh, yeah, ultimately I think Rogan has a very shitty opinion here that flies in the face of science. And, and that's kind of the end of the story. I know there are some people that are trying to de-platform him. I'm personally not pushing for that in any way. In fact, I would argue that I'm doing exactly what Joe Rogan, just not call out dumb shit. But hey, that's the story, my personal opinion and takeaway. And of course, now I'll pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts on this? But from that, let's take a second to pay some bills and thank the fantastic sponsor of today's show, nordvpn.com slash phil. You know, I've been a Nord customer checkout. Then, and this is still developing as we're recording news, we should definitely talk about Rudy Giuliani. And this, because as the New York Times reported, federal investigators have executed a search warrant on Rudy Giuliani's Manhattan apartment as part of an investigation into Giuliani's dealings in Ukraine. But this is part of an investigation the Trump administration is intensifying. Now, as far as what comes from this situation, we're gonna have to wait and see, you know, what was actually on these devices. Did anything get removed? I mean, it, it's a whole thing. But I would say if there was incriminating information on those devices, I would be shocked if, if there was. And right? so over the weekend, a number of notable Republicans began jumping on this story, including RNC chair, Ronna McDaniel and Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton, who tweeted, now they're forcing taxpayers to buy Kamala Harris's book to give to those illegal immigrants. But as it turns out, this story was complete word to write in which I failed to push back hard enough against was my breaking point. But even with her claim there, you had a lot of people saying that fell short with some responses like, so she drew the line after she fabricated a story. It went viral and has yet to be retracted. Interesting how that scene, Laura should have just refused to write it. Consider somebody else would have, and they might've punished or fired her and we might never have known. If you've already convinced yourself you can function within the Murdoch ethos or lack thereof, you eventually have two choices. Keep selling your soul and doing the wrong thing or stop. I always think we should encourage and reward. Uh, she is telling the truth. She is trying to do the right thing. Where do you land in that camp of she's doing the right thing now, but she should have never done the article. Uh, any and all thoughts, I'd love to know. And then let's talk about President Biden officially unveiling the $1.8 trillion American Families Plan this morning. It's a trillion dollars for free universal preschool for all three and four year olds, reduce the cost of childcare for low and middle income families. Families. Allocate $109 billion for two years of free community college, including for non-citizen immigrants brought to the United States as children, AKA dreamers. $1,400 in Air Act premiums, tax credits, and the child tax credit aimed at fighting child poverty. Now, notably, uh, according to the official fact sheet detailing the plan, those tax cuts will be 800 billion of the final price tag, but that still leaves $1 trillion in new spending. And as far as how that will be financed, Biden is proposing it would actually just restore the top bracket to what it was before Trump's 2017 tax law. He has also proposed raising the capital gains and dividends tax rates for those who earn more than $1 million a year, beefing up IRS enforcement and closing other tax loopholes that benefit wealthy Americans and large corporations, including a completamente ya no se debe utilizar la máscara. Eso es lo que yo pienso. Y es precisamente el alivio que las autoridades de salud les han dado a las personas que están completamente vacunadas. Pueden no utilizar el cubrebocas si hacen ejercicio en el exterior, acudir a cualquier manera. Rubén Pereira, hoy día Noticias Telemundo. Gracias a Rubén Pereira. Y ahora, Nacho, nos ocupamos del tema de la inmigración porque el gobierno le declara la guerra a los coyotes y anuncia una operación que incluye sanciones como la re... las redes de coyotes que lucran con los sueños de las personas. Prohíben las redadas de ICE en los tribunales. Esto es importante porque así lo ordenó la actual administración a las agencias migratorias para garantizar que cualquier inmigrante... A los alumnos y a los maestros. Claro está, todo en contra de las recomendaciones de todas, absolutamente todas las autoridades sanitarias médicas, no solamente de Estados Unidos, sino del planeta entero, incluido los CDC de la Unión Americana. Martín Berlanga tiene más. El año enviaron un correo electrónico a los padres de familia esta semana, pidiendo a quienes no hayan recibido la que llaman una inyección experimental del COVID-19 que esperen hasta el final del año escolar. La razón que da la escuela es que no están 100% seguros de que las inyecciones del COVID... Cerca, en el mismo cuarto de otra persona que no tiene la vacuna, la otra persona va a pe perder la capacidad de tener hijos. Eso es absurdo. En la carta dice que han recomendado a todos los profesores y al personal que posterguen la inyección hasta que haya más investigaciones. conspiratorias. El sindicato de maestros dijo lamentar que eso le sucediera a profesores que no están afiliados. A quienes trabajan en este colegio y se pusieron la vacuna, la escuela les pidió que lo notificaran y mantuvieran la distancia física de los estudiantes. Expertos laborales aclaran que es difícil de comprobarlo para nosotros como periodistas, ya que contrataron a dos guardias de seguridad para impedir que nos acercáramos. Guardias armados nos empujaron cuando intentamos obtener respuestas de padres de familia. Sin embargo, un hombre que se identificó como Fabio regresó minutos después y dijo que tenía dos hijos que estudiaban. Se les prohíbe hablar sobre la academia. Martín Berlanga, hoy día, Noticias Telemundo.
Martín, muchas gracias por esta información. Hoy día, el presidente Joe Biden hablará por primera vez ante el Congreso. Un discurso que... Estabas primero porque los presidentes en el pasado solían dar este discurso en febrero. Ahora se retrasó por la pandemia y justo por la pandemia tendrá menos asistentes. Nos dicen serán cerca de 200 los invitados que podrán entrar y no más de 1.500 como suele. Si dan un evento de esta naturaleza, estamos hablando de la vicepresidenta Kamala Harris y de la presidenta de la Cámara de Representantes, Nancy Pelosi. La Casa Blanca asegura que el presidente Biden está personalmente muy encargado de redactar este discurso, un discurso que va a revisar... Este... 200, más de 200 millones de dosis aplicadas. Realmente ha sido una, un manejo exitoso, bien manejado, a pesar de las presiones que él tenía al empezar la presidencia y las cosas que se habían dejado atrás. Otro tema que marca los primeros 100 días... Sin contar que los Dreamers siguen esperando su camino a la ciudadanía. Queríamos acción inmediatamente, ya ha sido 100 días sin acción uh, política de Joe Biden. Ya hemos pasado el Dreaming Promise en la, casa, en la Cámara Baja y es ahora... Ese recordatorio, una vez más, Noticias Telemundo analiza la gestión del presidente Joe Biden, todo lo que necesitan saber aquí. Mensaje a la Nación a las 9 p.m. hora del Este, 6 p.m. hora del Pacífico. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Mohammed Jamjoum. Patients gasping for air in the street. Pleas for oxygen and hospital beds on social media. Do take place as soon as possible because of custom, because of the hot temperatures, because of a shortage of mortuaries with freezing facilities. And all of this is why the international aid that's arriving is so welcome. South Korea is the latest country to say that... The world's biggest vaccine maker is now forced to import jabs. The White House's chief medical advisor, Anthony Fauci, told an Australian newspaper that wealthy nations have failed to prevent a tragedy. We have to keep in mind that this virus is mutating very fast. It is fine learning new and new ways to invade into human, human system and causing infection. So we all should uh, follow COVID-appropriate behavior as much as possible. And it is a pharmacy of the world. So everyone should get vaccinated. And because every life I have seen people dying on roads and it is very difficult to see them die uh, because of this infection. So they all mm -hmm. must get vaccinated. This is must. Ram through the House articles of impeachment to get it over to the Senate. And they also said, you know, they, they didn't want to call the witnesses. They called the witnesses, but they ran it out of the basement uh, where there couldn't be uh, full public disclosure about what they were trying to do. Uh, they thinking about this because remember, there. What is the what are what is the FBI? What's the Justice Department? Are they looking for something more than the allegations that existed in connection with the Senate, Senate in impeachment trial? Mm -hmm. Right? Are they going stories would not have been blocked by Twitter? Uh, New York right. would not have been forced to take right. it down. It, it's very political. Uh, it seems so political in yeah. nature. Yeah. You know, Bob and yeah. Hunter Biden is under investigation right now, though, for taxes. Uh, there's a tax investigation going on, so yeah. at least that's happening.